Welcome to Guitar 103 with Pony Boy. That's me. All right. Um, I think with this video, the um, the best thing to do is to try and move forward. And uh, the the last video where I taught you how to tune, uh, I apologize if it was. I realize it was about 10 minutes long, but um, in in the very beginning, I struggled with how to tune properly and. Um, I'm trying to bear in mind, you know, that you may have no guitar skills at all. Maybe you've never even picked one up. So um, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this as if, you know, I'm teaching a child really. Um, okay, so if we've got the tuning down, we're going to kind of refer back to the first video now. So we're kind of taking a step back, but still moving forward. Um, we're still going to be using the A chord, the C chord, and the D chord. Okay, so the same three chords that we used in the first video. We're just going to kind of alternate them. Now, because I'm not a guitar teacher and I'm probably the least qualified person to, to be teaching anybody anything, um, I don't know the names of these chords. So, But that's not really the important part. The important part is that you can play them and that they sound right and that you're comfortable with it. Um, that's just that's me making an excuse for myself. Um, I think I did pretty well, actually, at that. Would you agree? Um, okay, so let's just start again. We're going to start with A. Okay, so I'm going to show you the A chord. And um, remember that we're... Oh, hell, I'll just bring the chord up. Okay, here it is. A chord. All right, now, whether you play it this way or this way, again, this is the way I play the A chord. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same chord. We're just going to remove our ring finger. Now, if you play it this way, you're still removing your ring finger, okay? So I'm just going to play it my way because it's actually easier for me to remove my ring finger if my middle finger is not bunched right there in the way. See that? So that's kind of why I play my A this way. Okay? So here's A. Now remove the ring finger. Okay? Now we're going to combine the two. So you kind of get something like this. Got it? Okay, groovy. So that's pretty simple. Let me show you what I'm doing with my right hand again. So uh, again, I don't know if you're learning with a pick or not. If you're not, God bless you. Um, you probably will get a better tone, again, if you use a pick. Um, but this is kind of what I just do with my right hand. Now, my thumb, um, here's something that I didn't go over in the, the, the previous video. You'll notice, here's the A chord again, okay? So you'll notice at the top of the A chord, you see a black bar, okay? And that, what that black bar is indicating is the nut right here, okay? That is the top of your fretboard. You can't go higher than, well, you can't go higher than that, but there's nothing there. You can't play up here. So what that does, you'll notice with the A chord, the nut is the black bar, the second, fr the first fret right here has nothing, and then our numbers are here. So it sort of gives you an indicator where you where you're at. Not sort of, it does give you an indicator. And these markers here, three, five, seven, nine, and twelve. And then you also have fifteen, seventeen. They're all odd numbers other than twelve. Okay. So these are really just markers to give you an indication of where you're at. If you're standing up, for example, and you're playing, you're you're not really able to look down you know, sort of look on your fretboard. Um, you, so I don't need them, but they're there. That's really what they're for. Okay, so where were we? A chord, right? All right, so let me show you again what my right hand is doing. Now, the point I was trying to make about the diagram with showing you where the nut is, you'll see there's an X, O, and O. Now, what that means is that it's okay to play an A chord by hitting those strings. The X means you don't want to hit this string here. That's not really part of your A chord, and I'll show you. You're really strumming the whole guitar. But your A chord really should sound like this. Instead of... It's just you're, you're muddying things up a bit. So what that X means is don't hit this. So when I play since, again, since I don't use a pick, I tend to kind of mute the string that I don't want to play by putting my thumb on it. So I'll show you that now. That's 
just the A chord and then that, that variation of removing the ring finger, okay? So you can do that with any of these open chords. Um, it's really, really, um, it's really simple. Let's go to the C chord, which is one that we covered yesterday on the previous video. Okay, here's the C chord again. Bam! All right. One, two, three, yeah? See that X? It's saying don't hit the string if you can help it. And those O's mean the other strings are open, meaning your fingers are not on them. You're not fretting them. You're not touching them. All right, so let's do C, but we're going to add the pinky in, which is right here. And what I'm doing is I'm adding it to the fourth string, which is where my middle my middle finger is, okay? So I'm just I'm not moving my middle finger, I'm leaving it there. I'm just replacing the fretting with the pinky. So what you get is Get it? Now again, I'm sorry, I don't know the names of those chords. It's just a very I say it's a variation of C, which I'm sure that it is. I'm sure it's C seventh or something weird like that. And I'm sure somebody's gonna see this on YouTube and correct me and tell me what the name of the chord is. So thank you to whoever that bored person is. Um, okay, so what you can do with the C chord, again, you can actually remove the middle finger if you want. So let's do that. Right? Okay, so now let's try bringing in the pinky, removing it, and then removing the middle finger and bringing them both back in, okay? So you'll get this. Okay, so we start with C. Bring in the pinky. No pinky. No middle finger. Middle finger back. So now what you get is this sort of thing. Got it? So, like I said, you can do that with all of those chords. It's the same thing we did with A. We're just adding a finger, removing a finger. So let's do the same thing with D, which is also another chord. Remember the cool D chord? Here's the D chord. Hello, D chord. All right. So, D chord. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the middle finger. So we're just going to play D. No middle finger. Okay, so now you can do the same thing if you want and add the pinky in on the high E string, that's your top string. So I'm not moving my middle finger, I'm leading it there, I'm just... Get the idea? So it's the same thing that we did with C, we're just sort of adding and removing a finger. So let's try that again, D. No middle finger with the pinky back to the middle finger no middle finger so this is kind of what you get sort of a variation of free falling okay Right. Now, if you wanted to play that in the manner that we were playing yesterday with downstrokes, you would get this. Not, not as fun. So probably best for you to be strumming on these, okay? So if you wanted to do A with the downstrokes, you get this. Same thing with C. Here we go. Okay, so you, you kind of get it, you kind of get an idea of 
how many different ways you can really play these chords and get different sounds out of them, okay? So that's why I've just kind of taught you those three basic chords for now. So um, I think that's a good sort of foundation to, 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 to start with. And you may breeze through that. You know, that this sort of stuff took me about probably two months. So um, what I'll do in the next video is we'll cover the G chord. Um, I think probably A minor and then maybe E or something like that. So those are, those are also some basic chords uh, that are just really necessary for you to learn. So, um, and then we'll cover, hopefully by then you'll have the whole adding a finger, removing a finger thing down. And so we'll just cover the basic G and then removing fingers and changing G up a little bit. Okay, so hopefully this has helped you in some way. Um, and I apologize if it hasn't. If it's not helping you at all, let me know and I'll stop making these ridiculous videos. You won't have to hear my voice or look at my face anymore, okay? All right, catch you later. Bye.